What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can use multiple view controllers in our iOS app. So if you're not familiar, view controller is a uh, interface which basically lets you create a screen in the app. So every screen you see is more or less a view controller. So as always, we're going to start off by launching Xcode and creating a new project. We're going to stick with a single view application. We're going to call it, let's call it multi VC and hit enter and let Xcode do its thing. Save it. While Xcode is creating the project and we're expanding the window, make sure you smash that like button below for daily Swift tutorials. And let's jump right into it. So let's actually go to our, let's go to our view controller. And what I want you to start by doing is setting a background color to the view of this view controller. And we're just going to set it to red like so. And hit command R to build and run. We're going to set background color so we can see the difference uh, once we have multiple view controllers. So, okay, we get a red screen like so as expected. Now, how the heck do we add another view controller? Well, we can do a couple things. So we're going to go through adding it in code, and then we're also going to go through it adding it in a storyboard. So in code, what you can actually do is literally copy this class, which is view controller, and paste it right below. And just make sure you change the name of the class because we can't have two classes with the same name. And we can call this second view controller. And boom, you got a second view controller. We just need to present it. Let's change the background color of it to blue. And let's see, let's add an IB action in our first view controller. Let's call it did tap button. We're going to add a button to this first screen. And when we tap it, we're going to show the second screen, which is the second view controller, which has a blue background. So we're simply going to say present second view controller animated true. Just like that, pretty simple. Let's hop into our main dot storyboard. We're gonna drag on a button onto the screen and we're gonna connect our new IV action that we created. Let's drop that on right there. Right click our view controller and drag from did tap button to this. We're gonna go a touch up inside and we should be good to go. If you're not familiar with IB actions or IB outlets, I have a video talking about how we can best use these. So I encourage you to take a look at that. But let's hit Command R and this will build and run. And we'll see we have this button here. When we click it, we get this second screen. And we can actually also swipe it back. Let's get rid of this. We can actually click it and we'll see that the red screen is behind it and the blue view controller is the foreground. And we can swipe it back. So this notion of how it kind of presented is called presentation style, but I'm not going to go into the weeds of that because this video is kind of around how many or how we can use multiple view controllers, but this is how we get two view controllers. Now, what if we wanted to add a view controller in the storyboard here? So let's say we come up here, hit this icon to get our elements, search for a view controller and drag it on the screen. Let's also set the background color here instead. So let's make this black and let's make this one, let's see, this obnoxious color. How do we get these to show? If we hit command door and run it, you'll see we'll still have a red one and a blue one. But what we want to do is go to our view controller. Let's get rid of this background color red. Let's also get rid of this. What we want to do is create a view controller file. Let's actually get rid of this for a second. We want to create another view controller file and in the storyboard, we want to tell this new green view controller that we've added that you have an associated code file. And the way we do that is coming up here, right click, new file. We want to go with a Coco touch class and we want to create an instance of a UI view controller. Make sure you don't check this also uh, create XIB file. We don't need that. Give this a different name than view controller. So let's call it green view controller. 
hit enter once more and just like that we get this new file created down here we can see it's called green view controller it gives us some template code which we can delete and this file actually looks very similar to this view controller it actually looks identical except we've added an IV action in here and we can delete this comment so what we need to do is go to our main dot storyboard in here we're going to click this gray header part of the new controller we added come to the inspector window hit this tab and for class we want to specify the name of the class we just added which is green view controller so if we start typing it'll actually autocomplete like so and before we're done in here we need to also give this view controller an identifier particularly a storyboard identifier this identifier is what code around the app can use to create the view controller. So instead of creating it directly with its name, calling it green view controller, if we want the app to pick up any of the changes we made in here, which in this case is setting the background color to green, we need to give it an ID. So we'll call it green VC. And let's do underscore VC. To present it, we're going to go back to our first view controller. And instead of doing something along the lines of this, because this won't pick up our storyboard green color, we're going to say storyboard instantiate view controller with an identifier. And we're going to pass in the ID in here, which is green VC. And this returns a view controller, but we want it to return specifically the green view controller. So we can say as force unwrap green view controller. And last but not least, we can say present VC animated true. If we hit command R, it'll build and run our app. We'll see we get the black screen with the button hit this and our app actually crashed okay let's figure out what we did wrong so in here we did VC we have a storyboard we're saying instantiate view controller with this identifier ah this is capital let's stick with lowercase so I'm glad I actually accidentally made that mistake it's a very common mistake and like so when we hit it we get the green view controller so your case sensitivity and your actual, whatever your ideas needs to match in code of what you provided in the storyboard. So if, uh, if rap crashes, don't freak out, just double check that you have everything matching up. But yeah, that's how you use uh, multiple view controllers. The last thing I'll mention in here before we wrap up this video is using this as exclamation mark is sometimes frowned upon. So what we can do is we can say, uh, we can do a guard let VC equals this as that else we can return. The reason we need to do this guard let is what you're actually saying to the storyboard is, hey, can you try to instantiate something with this ID and make sure it's of this type? That's not a decl declaration that it's saying that, hey, go do this. It's kind of a request if you think of it that way. So we want to make sure, we want to guard that what it actually returns a value of our expected type. If it doesn't, we'll just return out of this function and we won't continue. But if it does, we'll continue down here and present it. So if we hit Command R and build and run, you'll see that nothing in fact has changed. We still get our green screen presented like so. And that's how you use multiple view controllers. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, hit that like button if you haven't done so already. I do daily Swift videos, other iOS app development, and software engineering. Subscribe if you're new. I will catch you guys in the next video.